art that can take your breath away. Yes, or burn you to death if you're not careful. Glass blowing is a technique that involves inflating molten glass into a bubble with the help of a blowpipe. It is so much tougher than it looks, and I know because I got to see it up close. Check this out. <laughs> If you want to learn how to blow some glass, three-dimensional visions in unincorporated tumble is the place to go. This is Sally. Hi, Sally. Hey, how are you doing? I am well. Sally and her husband own this place, and their son, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. How's it going? I am great. How are you? Good. He's the top glass-blowing dog, so you two are going to show me how this is done, right? Yes. What are we making today? We're going to make a pumpkin. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, Sally, so those are my color options right there. Those are your color options. You can pick one for the body and one for the stem. I know this maybe is an obvious choice, the orange one for the pumpkin body. I, I think about, you know, what's your favorite color and what color will pop against it. I'm really feeling these colors up here, the, the green and this golden. Let's give it a try. Whoa. We'll let the excess trail off inside. One puff and a cap will trap air inside, letting it heat up and expand, and that will blow our bubble. Whoa. So all these little chips of metal oxides added to them. It's like rolling a donut in powdered sugar. So from here, we'll go back in, we'll melt all this glass in. Okay. And check this out. This is the finished product, guys. The pumpkin that. It's awesome. Well, really, Patrick made it <laughs> while I watched. I did you help a little bit. You assisted. But joining us now is the owner of Three Dimensional Visions yeah. and also Patrick's mom, Sally. How are you? I'm great. It was so nice to have you in the studio. It was Wednesday. really fun to come out. And I have to say, I've been curious about uh, glass blowing for a long, long time. It is so much more difficult and involved than I ever could have imagined. It's a very process-oriented art, which is why it appeals to me as a, as a scientist. Because you like to pull your hair out. Yes. You like, you like uh, the process. See, can't you tell? <laughs> I have to say, I absolutely love the necklace that you're wearing. That's a really well, cool glass thank piece. Thank you. That's from the blown glass from Kane, from a remnant from that, and then I fused it into the piece that I'm wearing. Well, and if you check out Sally's studio and workspace, there are all kinds of interesting things like her necklace, and also you can see some of the items Beautiful she's brought uh, today. But you also hold classes at yes. Three Dimensional Visions. Yes, we do. So someone like me could come in off the street. <laughs> <laughs> and do an experience just and, like and you did. And have an experience just like this. So how does that work? I mean, how, how long would I have to go through a class to really be able to make something like this? On well, on make it on a, your own, that would probably take going through three of our six-week sessions and then some practice on the side. Okay. Well, um. if people want to <laughs> sign up for a class, they can visit threedimensionalvisions.com. That's right? correct. Okay, fantastic. Well, Sally, thank you so much. Yes, thank such you. Such beautiful stuff. Now,